Cha-ching, I spend it. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. I be getting it. This ain't us, bitches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they seen it. Pulling up in the hood. Uh, shaking all this good. Uh, bitches in the back. Wishing that they cook her. Okay. I'm that bitch. Okay. Need me some chocolate, socks and kids. Okay. Run the blocks, but there ain't no list. Welcome back to my YouTube channel to all my RVs. I'm here, you're here, and those hanging ass bitches are over there. Okay, so let's get into this YouTube video today, honey. Okay, honey. Mm. What am I serving you girls and you guys today, honey? <sighs> serving you girls very classy, but very sassy, honey. Okay. Mm. Let's get started with this YouTube video today, honey. Okay, so... So today we're going to be talking about hate and how hate can go deeper than just your looks, okay? Now, when we think of hate, we just think automatically about the looks, honey, but that's not always the case, okay? So, let's get into the spill real quick, honey. And I know you guys are expecting me to feed my face or whatever. No, this is the one-on-one -on -one for the girls, okay, and the guys. So, boom. So, hating, you know, could definitely have something to do with your looks. It definitely can. I'm not saying that that's not the case. But, there's also other reasons. For instance, people can hate you just from the way that other people love you. And, you know, the energy that you just have. For instance, have you ever been in a situation where you've been around all your friends and everybody's showing you love family or whatever and it's just always like that one person that's giving you that look or like you know just like the disgusting face like uh like you know what I'm saying you know that comes from you know people giving you love and you know liking your energy and stuff you know I also think that that's also a lack of attention and love um that they don't have so you know it comes, it kind of builds like this, this animosity, you know, and hatred towards, you know, the individual. And I think that's one of the forms. I also think another form is just the way that you are able to be yourself. You know, for instance, I'm going to use me. So a lot of people, you know, don't like the fact that I'm trans and you know, I'm part of the LGBT community and I'm able to, you know, still have my head held high. Um, and I think a lot of people expect, you know, after all that, you know, somebody can go through, you know, the name calling, the bullying, you know, just like torture in general. They expect you, you know, to be down on your knees. They expect you to be on your back. But the simple fact that some people are able to, you know, have their head held up high and still be okay with with who they are it's a problem for some people you know some people don't like that and i think the hatred comes from the, the fact that they're not allowed to be able to be who they truly want to be and i'm not even talking about sexuality it could just be their beliefs religion um some people they get talked down on about their um their body um their shape their structure just anything in general you know i think a lot of people really want to be, they have an idea of who they want to be. And then they have an idea of, well, they don't have an idea, but they have to live on how society wants them to be. And so it kind of builds a thing where when they see other people, you know, able to live comfortably uh, um, in their skin and who they are. It's just like, dang, I wish, you know, I could be able to, you know, be comfortable with who I am. And I don't necessarily think Sometimes it has something to do with you, although it can um, when we're talking about that. But um, just the idea of the fact that, you know, you're able to be yourself, you know, because trust me, you they hate on other people, too, when it comes to that. You know, whenever they see somebody able to be their stuff, it's just not you, you know. So 
I would definitely not really take it personally because they probably feel like that about a whole lot of people. So, boom. Don't even mind it, boo. You still doing what you're supposed to be doing, honey. Okay. And another thing, and this kind of ties back um, with the whole, um, the way people love you. See, like with me, um, I didn't really come from a loving family and accepted me for my sexuality and, you know, me transitioning to the woman that was always meant to be. You know, I had to build self-confidence. I had to, you know, build self-love. Like, you know, I had to, you know, build all of it, you know, because I came from a family, you know, where it wasn't acceptable. It wasn't okay. Um, So I didn't have that support. Um, so I think too, when people actually come from a loving family, um, and they're able to, you know, out, out the gate, I mean, just like, I'm talking about, it, like, I mean, they probably been talked about or whatever and bullied, but out the gate, you know, from elementary school to like high school, they're able to, you know, rub everything off their shoulders and not let things get to them and still smile and stuff and be happy. Because they came from a loving family, a loving background, um, that they're able to do that. And that's just such an amazing thing. People don't like that, you know. But since they already have that love and support at home, it doesn't really matter, you know, what's going on on the outside, you know. And that's something that I'm still learning and stuff. And I think, but I also think too that um, self-love is an ongoing process. It's never ending and um i really never had um a loving background you know when people used to call me names and i used to get bullied and stuff you know i used to take my anger well not necessarily take my anger out on people but it kind of um built my character in a way um i think that's where it, it's good and bad um but for the bad part it makes me almost like always be on guard, you know what I'm saying? And always just be like, because I've, I've been so hurt, you know what I'm saying? So once I start putting my foot down, you know, you know, I, the stuff stopped. But, you know, some people, they don't necessarily have to put their foot down. You know, they're able to still smile through it all. Me, on the other hand, I didn't, you know, I got in fights, I got into arguments, you know, um, I let people get to me, um, but it did build me in a good way, um, but it definitely did, you know, scar me a little bit, you know, because I have to really, you know, like, just learn how to just be positive about things, and I have been, you know, you know, recently, you know, ever since I had learned that, but it wasn't so easy for me to do that, you know. Um, so, but I still think it's a good thing because, you know, at the end of the day, though, even though I probably went, went about it the wrong way, I mean, I still, you know, that self-esteem, that self-confidence, and I'm not going to just, you know, let anybody, you know, talk to me and, come at me any type of way now there's an appropriate way to you know handle things and but and i also brought up my diva side a little bit too like you know so that's another good part but you know it wouldn't be good though to smile through it all i would say but i mean sometimes you just gotta work with what you got you know people are in different situations and i, I mean it, it made me strong too so I don't know, but I think those are all the forms of hatred that I could come up with. Um, oh, also, too, when somebody is doing the same thing that you're doing. So, for instance, I was in a nail shop and my nail tech was doing another girl's nails. And she was telling the other girl, oh, my goodness, I was just telling her about you. Um, she would tell me that and she was like, you guys both, you know, get, get the real cool nails or whatever. And I said, oh, really? So then I was like, that's cool. And the way that the other girl was looking was like, 
I'm the only one that can get my nails done like this. Like, uh-uh, like, this bitch is in my lane. Like, there's people like that. Like, you know, doing the same thing that you're doing and not liking it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why should my light dim your light? You know what I'm saying? So, you got to be careful around those people, too, because, you know, bring your energy down. And so, I just really thought, like, okay, girl, like, you know, you're not the only girl that gets their nails done cute and stuff, like, girl. Because I was, you know, I was, like, like looking at her, like, yeah, girl, your nails be cute. But once she just, like, she looked at me up and down and stuff like that, I'm like, all right, damn, bitch, like, go ahead and troll along, honey. And so, I basically, you know... It was like okay like in my head like i was i didn't pay no attention to her like one thing about it is bitch i'm not gonna feed into your you know energy honey you know you think you all that honey and a bag of chips i'm all that too in a bag of chips and one thing about me is i can um admit and I will acknowledge another girl when she's doing what she's supposed to be doing and when she is that girl. One thing that I know for sure is, honey, I'm not going to be sitting around here, you know, acting like I'm not that bitch because I am, okay? We can both be that bitch. You're not the only bad bitch, honey. So once you start, you know, giving me that type of energy, bitch, I'm going to look straight ahead and keep it pushing like, bitch, you don't even exist. You're dust, honey. Mm-hmm. Thank you, honey. So, so yeah, I think, but I think those are the other forms of hate. Um, so you guys, let me know what you guys think. Until next time, I will be.